what's, uh, what's the feeling like for you a, a few days out right now of this uh, opportunity? I feel great. I feel great prepared. Short notice, so it was a short preparation, but very like good quality, great quality. So, so I'm happy for that. Ever any hesitation, right? Because this is the fight you wanted, and the opportunity is massive. But you know these opportunities don't come a whole lot, right? So, was there any hesitation at all in, in taking this? Uh, the message come, and I said yes. So, so for me. The chance is here, why not? Let's go for that, I believe. When you review the first fight, obviously you did have moments of success in there. How satisfied overall are you with your performance? Obviously the result wasn't what you wanted, but how successful do you think you were in implementing what you wanted to do in that fight? From which fight? From the original fight with Alex. From first fight with Alex. Right. Uh, I have to say, uh, no matter the, the result, but I saw that fight many times, and I will not change my not. I will not change not change anything, and I wanna and I wanna do the same. Right now, right uh, this Saturday, I wanna do the same, but much better. Be m more precise in the details. Watch the calf kicks. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit, and. Uh, Win, just win. What do you think makes him dangerous as a fighter? Is it just some God-given power that he has? Is it technique? Is it strategy? What, what do you think makes him so successful? To be honest, he's focus. that's all. That's it, that's it. The focus is everything. The focus is everything and uh, he know how to use that in a fight, and uh, I know it too. So, right now, for this Saturday, I realize what is necessary for for a win in this fight, and I'm going to show that. Very nice. Last thing for me, uh, what would this victory mean for you? Uh, the opportunity to get this this win, the title, the revenge. What would it all mean for you? Uh, the opportunity to, to fight him again, to show that my style is, or I am better fighter. Yuri, over here. Uh, taking this fight on short notice, was this best case scenario, because now you don't have to do months and weeks of media and interviews, and you know you can kind of just focus on making way and showing up on Saturday? Like I said, I... I I just jumped to the final stage of, pre of prepar preparation and uh, sometimes it's for me the best what I can do because if you believe in yourself and you are the yes man, <laughs> so take the chance, go there and show what's your best, that's all. And on the MMA Hour, you said that you kind of alluded to Alex using you know, spiritual advisors and shamans and stuff from his village. Uh, and it, I think people were a little confused by what you meant. Can you explain what you meant by what you believe Alex uses these shamans and spirits and stuff? One more time. On the MMA Hour with Ariel, you were talking about Alex using shamans and yeah, spiritual. Yeah, yeah, Can you explain yeah. that? No, wait, no, I understand. Thank you. Yes, everybody knows that, and he's doing these uh, rituals before the fight. He's uh, everybody can feel that, what's what's around him and uh, what's what's going on. So, and I think Alex can't uh, fight without that. So, and that's something what's what is uh, what he's using like normally in a fighting. And uh, let's see, this is like right now. This is my challenge to him. If we can fight in a clear way in this case, yeah, to be not uh, without like some another things, some uh, some whatever, but let 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 the higher power be there in the cage to see who's the best in the world, in the performance, in the pure performance. That's all. Is that something you'll ask him to do? To 
pace you without doing all of that to see who's the best? Yeah. Yuri, over here. Um, how much different is this camp, uh, not only with the short notice, but I know in your first fight with Alex, you didn't have the best camp. Uh, how different have things been this time around? How? Uh, different. How different? Uh, different. Yeah. Camp in, yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> lots of different. Like we, normally, I have like two months long camp, or yeah, almost two two months, and. Uh, this time was one week, <laughs> so so I put I put everything into one week, into one and a half week, yeah, and uh, I'm prepared. Not looking past Saturday night, but do you believe Magomed and Kaliyev will fight the winner of this fight? Who fought uh, before? He fought Johnny Walker. He fought Johnny. Okay. He fought Johnny Walker, and uh, I don't know. So, so let the UFC will 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 say that who's the best for him right now. But, but he, uh, how many wins or how many fights uh, he won uh, uh, right now? Like. Too easy. He's been unbeaten in his last few fights. The first Johnny Walker fight was a no contest. Uh huh. I I don't care about that. So, so and, let's, and let's 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 you see uh, decide about that. And, and just last question for me. Um, we saw you at the Czechia hockey game. Uh, did you watch the Stanley Cup Finals this week? Uh, if I watch the uh, football. Uh, ice hockey. Stanley ice hockey. Cup. Okay. Because right now it's uh, football. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. And I'm very glad we won. Uh, I was there on the final, on the final, uh, final competition, final fight, <laughs> and uh, it was a great feeling. Yeah, it was a great feeling to to see our Czech team to win the world world championship. That was amazing. Yuri. Over here, I'd say, yeah. yeah. Uh, how do you describe a week where you went from possibly looking for your next fight to being ready to fight for the title? What that week looked like? Which week? This week? The last week when you went Last week of preparation. <laughs> a good hell. Yeah, good hell. Because you need to, you need to maximize your body abilities, your strength, dynamic, endurance, uh, stamina, and uh, focus for, for technique, uh, the eyes in, uh, in the sparring, and uh, it's a lot of things for one, just one, for one week, but when you have a good time management to know how to schedule your training, and it's then it's like masterpiece, and I'm very glad that me and my team we scheduled that really really good. And uh, right now it's time for just for the details to enjoy the training, recover, and go to show the best. You mentioned it, normally you have two months to prepare for a fight, so there's a lot of repetitions, a lot of rounds for you to start to build that confidence and feel like you're at your best. How do you do that in seven days? Like I said, with all the humble, you have to just believe. You have to believe or better you have to know that you are the one you are ready for to show your best right here right now because these chances will not come if you are not ready yeah because every time when the life asks you the life expects that you are ready it's just about your courage courage and uh, believe Jerry, right here, in the middle. 
Uh, Jiri, do you think that the short notice actually makes both of you more dangerous because there is less time to think about the strategy and you're maybe more going out there to what, do what comes natural? Yeah, that's right. That's right, and uh, especially when we, when we fought, yeah, in uh, like a few months back. So, so we know each other from fight, but uh, how I see that, like in a fighting, I'm another person, he's, he little changed himself, his style, his wipe, I see him, and uh, I'm, I like to, I'm really looking forward for this Saturday. One of the things uh, that the fans love about you and they're very fascinated is, you know, some things you practice, you know, go to the cave in the dark by yourself and all of these intense things. Was this always something that you pursued or did something change in your life where you felt you wanted to test yourself that way? You wanted to do something of a different path to pursue those things to better yourself spiritually? Yeah, if you understand that uh, that you have you have uh, the main thing for your work is your body, your mind, your spirit. You have to sharp it, sharp the mind, sharp the body, sharp, sharp the spirit. And when there is a, when you want to do that and be the best, okay, how, 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 like the most sharper you can be in all of these aspects. Just show me that. If you are ready for that, the way will open. Here, just just a quick one from me to your right, right here. Uh, you mentioned uh, the football there just a second ago. Uh, I don't think you got to see because you're on stage with us right now, but you guys just scored an equalizer. Uh, so I guess what do you make of that? Football? Yeah. Suchek just scored for you guys. Uh, man, I don't watch that right now. But right now is my mind just focused for a fight, and uh, I I wish them all the best. But I don't wish that right now. In terms of uh, the country representation, how big would it be for not only you, you to get a win, but also uh, Czech Republic to go far in the Euros? Because I know, obviously, the country is supporting you and their team at, at the Euros. So what's the question? How big would it be for you and Czech Republic if you go out there and get a big win on Saturday and they go far in the Euros? I don't know how damn, but for me, is <laughs> it's a big thing. Yeah, so. So, I believe for victory. Thank you. You know, I, two weeks ago, in Prague, Czech Republic, soccer stadium, Octagon 58, sold out crowd, 28,000 people. First time they hear you know, my fight, how special was it for you? To hear all those people, and you know the whole country staying behind. How special was? The moment, you, know, you, you hear those 28,000 people. Are yeah, uh, it was a great night. It was a great night, and uh, it was a pleasure to, to meet a lot of like MMA fans in Czech Republic. And I'm glad that uh, the MMA community is still growing. Is this something that helped you with the decision? That you know that all the country is behind you? No, no. Uh, I, or, that time when I was there, I already, that was the time when I already uh, answered for, for, for this chance for, to fight there, here. Go ahead, Steve. Oh, Gary, right here. Um, if you win this fight, you know a lot of Alex's fans are probably going to make excuses for him, saying he was in Australia, about the toes. Do you feel like if you win this and get that bell back, you need to do a trilogy fight right after with the third, uh, with the full camp, just to silence any questions? Everybody wants a trilogy, yeah? I don't, for me it doesn't matter. For me it's, uh, right now I'm not thinking about the trilogy, about who will be the next opponent, whatever. Right now, I'm here for the belt. I mean, not the belt. I'm here for, for a win this fight, to show my best. I'm fa that I'm faster, I'm endurable, to master, all the aspects in the fight.
That's all. That's all. Do you think, and probably a better question for afterward, but do you think this title win will be more satisfying to you than the win over Glover? Every win is, for me, the most important. Yeah? Win here and now. Don't, no, 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 don't judge the, this was more, import, more, more important than this, one, this, this win was more important. No, to win the battle is what is here and now before you is the most important. That's all.